Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical, your source for Second Amendment news, gun reviews, and the finest in 2A related content. Today I'm bringing you a video about some ATF agents, along with local law enforcement, infringing on American citizens' rights. I know, surprise, right? But the funny thing is, is how unprepared the agents are and how well the free American citizen handles the situation. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and we're gonna talk about this. So were you expecting us? Uh, well, it didn't <laughs> surprise me when I saw a guy in a plate carrier. So the first thing that I wanna to bring to your attention, which I thought was very funny, and I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube talk about this. There have been some videos from some of the major gun channels that have showed this footage of this interaction. What they're doing is they are looking for forced reset triggers. If you know about those, um, Rare Breed was the first company that made them. Then uh, Big Daddy Unlimited came out with the wide open trigger. But basically, I'm not gonna go through exactly what the whole thing is, but it is a semi-automatic trigger that allows you to shoot very fast. And the ATF, has classified them now as machine guns, which they are not machine guns. Kind of like the ATF is classifying firearms with pistol braces as SBRs, even though they are not SBRs. And there are no laws, no congressional acts that have changed anything. It's just the ATF reinterpreting what things are to suit their interests. What I want to bring up though, before we watch the clip, check out the female agent's plate carrier. She literally has one of these stuffed inside it. She doesn't have real body armor on. She is wearing a steel AR-500 target. That to me is ridiculous and just shows how prepared they are for the task that they have been sent to do. It's pretty funny to me. So AR-500 steel, great targets to shoot at. They basically vaporize your bullets. I actually did a video last week. I'll put a link to it down below about shooting steel. And one of the things that you have to worry about is spalling. So as the bullet vaporizes when it hits your target, fragments of that bullet, you know, shoot out, down, and <laughs> if the target isn't able to move backward, those fragments would shoot up. If you were holding this in your plate carrier and around hit it, it would shred your neck and your face up. Just shows what these guys know about what they're really doing. But let's watch the clip. Watch how this guy handles it. He actually owns a company where he makes soft goods for like SEAL Team 6 and other elite military units. Check it out. So, were you expecting us? Uh, well, it didn't surprise me when I saw a guy in a plate carrier showing up. So. <laughs> well, Got the Ultima OTBs on. So. Yeah, no, um, so the reason why we're here is because, um, I don't know, I'm sure you're aware that just recently the ATF um, classified uh, FRTs, the, the force sure. reset triggers, mm -hmm. um, as, um, as uh, machine guns. Yeah. So we are aware that you may have purchased some of these FRTs. Okay. So now we are having like the whole agency has has um, is basically reaching out to these purchasers. That's incredible. And yeah. uh, we have to uh, pick them up. <laughs> you know they're okay. evil. So. So I won't um, be answering any questions today. Um, I don't have any comments on this subject. Uh, I won't be uh, giving you anything. Okay, so you, um... Are you refusing to give us the trigger? I'm not refusing anything. I won't be answering any questions. Okay. Um, but, okay, so we are aware that you do, you did purchase FRTs. Again, you wouldn't be in trouble if you just gave those up to us. Or okay. if you sold them, you can tell me you sold them. Sure. You know, okay. and you, again, you're not going to be in trouble for that. I understand. So, um, we're just here, honestly, like, just to pick them up. Sure, sure. It's a bigger, it's a bigger conversation than what you're having right now. You know, you, you decide as you go the rules, right? Um, again, that's not something I decide. It's not. I know you guys are just here. You guys are just here. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. At all. I understand. I I don't want to be here anymore. Anymore. Sure. It, well, it's the problem is is you 
are the people who who go and knock on the doors, right? Mm -hmm. So when they make new laws and you break them, or you go against the citizens, because they've spoken what they buy and what they do, the citizens are speaking, but the government is making their decisions on what they think. They're not being servants to the citizens, right? And, and, and all, right. all we're saying is, you know, like, I mean, we, like you said, you know, we just hear, we, we are the ones that just come and knock on the door we just sure. enforce the laws we don't make the laws so sure i understand you know, i hear what you're saying yeah um like i said we're, we're you're not in trouble i mean no i understand them, that you know no i didn't do anything wrong <laughs> exactly that's so, yeah i don't have i love good law-abiding cops who are who are good people are doing what they do and i understand you have families to feed you you're just doing what you're told so you don't get fired from your job but you, there is a problem that exists, and at some point you have to make your decision on which side of the team you're on. So I won't be answering any questions. If I'm not being detained, I'm not under arrest, I'll just be leaving now. Okay. Um, I won't be able to help you with what you're okay. trying to find. Um, so, and just to be clear, so then now you know that if you were to be in possession of these FRGs, then, then you would be um, basically uh, breaking the law. Okay? You, you, at the ATF claims that they they're making rules but there's no there's been no vote there's been no congressional hearing um, that says you have the law you don't make law right we i don't yeah the atf doesn't make law i got that clip from legally armed america check out his channel there's actually been a lot of youtube channels um that have put their own different takes on this interaction i just wanted to give you guys mine so this guy knows what's up I don't know if he was prepared like this for something like this to happen. He probably was. If you follow the 2A space and you see what the ATF has been doing lately, as far as infringing on our rights, as far as reinterpreting things how they see fit so that they can make felons out of law-abiding citizens, if this guy, who probably does pay attention to that considering he owns a business that is in the firearm-related industry, I'm sure he knows what's going on. You know, knowledge is power, and this guy has some knowledge, and he handles this very well. He, whether he has any FRTs or not, is not for me to know or anyone else to, that's his own personal property. But he doesn't give up any information. That is the number one thing, that if you have to deal with any of these agencies, if you have things like FRT triggers, if they start coming around looking for pistol braces, because it's a very, very similar thing. Again, no congressional act, no new laws passed, just the ATF deciding to reinterpret things. And while Director Dettelbeck recently said in the House Judiciary Committee hearing that they would be prioritizing going after gang members and not otherwise law-abiding American gun-owning citizens, who believe in the Second Amendment, we're seeing exactly what they're doing with forced reset triggers. Forced reset triggers were perfectly legal to purchase, and in fact, I believe that you can still purchase them online. Now, I don't own one, but I know people that have, and you know those people have never hurt anyone with them. These agencies need to be focusing on violent criminals, not law-abiding gun owners that bought things that were perfectly legal. Sound familiar? Pistol braces. I've been doing videos about pistol braces for like seven months now because it's appalling to me what the ATF is doing when it comes to just reclassifying something that has been perfectly legal for a decade. People have bought them and now all of a sudden they're going to be made felons if they don't abide by the ATF's unconstitutional rules and end up on a federal gun registry, which the ATF has not legally been able to make up until now. They've, you know, scammed everyone, everyone that complies, into a federal gun registry. It's ridiculous to me. And if you don't join their federal gun registry, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna come to your house asking if you have pistol braces? Well, we know that you bought some of these and. If you don't give them to us, then, uh, you know, you're basically in possession of an illegal item. An illegal item that has been legal forever. 
Same thing with these FRT triggers. This is a dangerous time that we're living in. Now, I do believe, well, I know, they can't really come in, look through your stuff, do anything without either a warrant or without your permission. So be careful what you do, be careful what you say. That's part of the reason I'm putting this video out. This guy handled this very well. So use it as an example in case you need to. I know that a lot of people have been getting a bit approached about forced reset triggers, especially in the last like three weeks. Now we have a couple weeks left until this pistol brace amnesty goes, you know, is done. And people that have chosen not to comply, are they gonna be getting visits by the ATF in the same way that the people that have forced reset triggers are? That is yet to be seen, yet to be determined, but it definitely could be something that happens. I, <laughs> I'm not surprised by anything that the ATF does under the current administration anymore. They are absolutely infringing upon our rights and it is up to us to be smarter than them. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think about all this stuff because it's just crazy to me that this agency has been weaponized against us when we are doing absolutely nothing wrong. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.